Synication is the act of applying sound energy to agitate particles in a sample, for various purposes. Ultrasonic frequencies are usually used, leading to the process also being known as ultrasonication or ultrasonication. In the laboratory, it is usually applied using an ultrasonic bath or an ultrasonic probe, colloquially known as a sonicator. In a paper machine, an ultrasonic foil can distribute cellulose fibers more uniformly and strengthen the paper. Effects Sonication has numerous effects, both chemical and physical. The chemical effects of ultrasound are concerned with understanding the effect of sonic waves on chemical systems, this is called sonochemistry. The chemical effects of ultrasound do not come from a direct interaction with molecular species. Studies have shown that no direct coupling of the acoustic field with chemical species on a molecular level can account for sonochemistry or sonoluminescence. Instead, sonochemistry arises from acoustic cavitation, the formation, growth, and implosive collapse of bubbles in a liquid. Applications Sonication can be used for the production of nanoparticles, such as nanoemulsions, nanocrystals, liposomes and wax emulsions, as well as for wastewater purification, degassing, extraction of plant oil, extraction of anthocyanins and antioxidants, production of biofuels, crude oil desulfurization, cell disruption, polymer and epoxy processing, adhesive thinning, and many other processes. It is applied in pharmaceutical, cosmetic, water, food, ink, paint, coating, wood treatment, metalworking, nanocomposite, pesticide, fuel, wood product and many other industries. Sonication can be used to speed dissolution, by breaking into molecular interactions. It is especially useful when it is not possible to stir the sample, as with NMR tubes. It may also be used to provide the energy for certain chemical reactions to proceed. Sonication can be used to remove dissolved gases from liquids by sonicating the liquid while it is under a vacuum. This is an alternative to the freeze pump thaw and sparging methods. In biological applications, sonication may be sufficient to disrupt or deactivate a biological material. For example, Sonication is often used to disrupt cell membranes and release cellular contents. This process is called sonoperation. Sonication is also used to fragment molecules of DNA, in which the DNA subjected to brief periods of sonication is sheared into smaller fragments. Sonication is commonly used in nanotechnology for evenly dispersing nanoparticles in liquids. Sonication can also be used to initiate crystallization processes and even control polymorphic crystallizations. It is used to intervene in anti-solvent precipitations to aid mixing and isolate small crystals. Sonication is the mechanism used in ultrasonic cleaning gyro loosening particles adhering to surfaces. In addition to laboratory science applications, sonicating baths have applications including cleaning objects such as spectacles and jewelry. Sonication is also used to extract microfossils from rock. Sonication can also refer to buzz pollination a euro the process that bees use to shake pollen from flowers by vibrating their wing muscles. Equipment Substantial intensity of ultrasound and high ultrasonic vibration amplitudes are required for many processing applications, such as nanocrystallization, nanoemulsification, deagglomeration, extraction, cell disruption, as well as many others. Commonly, a process is first tested on a laboratory scale to prove feasibility and establish some of the required ultrasonic exposure parameters. After this phase is complete, the process is transferred to a pilot scale for flow-through pre-production optimization and then to an industrial scale for continuous production. During these scale-up steps, it is essential to make sure that all local exposure conditions stay the same. If this condition is met, the quality of the final product remains at the optimized level, while the productivity is increased by a predictable scale-up factor. The productivity increase results from the fact that laboratory, bench and industrial scale ultrasonic processor systems incorporate progressively larger ultrasonic horns, able to generate progressively larger high-intensity cavitation zones and, therefore, to process more material per unit of time. This is called direct scalability. 
It is important to point out that increasing the power capacity of the ultrasonic processor alone does not result in direct scalability, since it may be accompanied by a reduction in the ultrasonic amplitude and cavitation intensity. During direct scale-up, all processing conditions must be maintained, while the power rating of the equipment is increased in order to enable the operation of a larger ultrasonic horn. Finding the optimum operation condition for this equipment is a challenge for process engineers and needs deep knowledge about side effects of ultrasonic processes. References HTTP, WWRSC Org Journal Syntology ASP It equals CMO, 0001708, Sonochemical Reactions and Synthesis, Sujlik, KS Sonochemistry. Science 247 1439 a euro 1445 bib code 1990 sci 247.1439 estoy 10.1126/science 247 4949 1439 sujlik ks flanagan dj inside a collapsing bubble sunluminescence and conditions during cavitation annual reverend fizz Chem 59, 659 a Euro 683. Bib code, 2008 ARPC. 59659 Estoy, 10.1146 slash Anuri Film. 59.032607.093739. Sujlik, Kenneth S. The Chemical Effects of Ultrasound. Scientific American pages 62 to 68. A. B. Peshkovsky, A. S. Peshkovsky, S. L. Bistriak, S. Scalable High Power Ultrasonic Technology for the Production of Translucent Nanoemulsions, Chemical Engineering and Processing, Process Intensification, 2013. 69, pages 77 a Euro 62. Gamar Mahdi, Amir. Effect of Ultrasound Frequency on Antioxidant Activity. Total phenolic and anthocyanin content of red raspberry puree. Ultrasonic Sonochemistry 20. 1316 a Euro 23 doi, 10.1016 slash Zonch. 2013.01.020. PMID 23507361. Diora, N.S., Misra, N.N., A.L. Ultrasound for Improved Crystallization in Food Processing, Food Engineering Reviews, 5, 1, 36-44. Jensel, P.G. Johnson, N.G. Strother, P.K. Early Land Plant Debris. Paleos 5, 520 a Euro 547 doi, 10.2307-3514860. JSTOR 3514860. Peshkovsky, SL and Peshkovsky, AS, matching a transducer to water at cavitation, acoustic horn design principles, Ultrason. Sinotrum, 2007. 14, pages 314 a Euro 322. AS Peshkovsky. SL Peshkovsky Industrial Scale Processing of Liquids by High Intensity Acoustic Cavitation, The Underlying Theory and Ultrasonic Equipment Design Principles, in, Novak FM, ed, Sonochemistry, Theory, Reactions and Syntheses, and Applications, Hall Page New York, Nova Science Publishers. 2010. A.S. Peshkovsky. SL Peshkovsky Acoustic Cavitation Theory and Equipment Design Principles for Industrial Applications of High Intensity Ultrasound, Book Series, Physics Research and Technology, Hall Page New York, Nova Science Publishers. 2010. Parvari, A. Mu Madifa, A. Kiahani, M. and Yazdan Panna, R.A. Statistical Study on Thermal Side Effects of Ultrasonic Mixing in a Gas Liquid System. In. The 15th Iranian National Congress of Chemical Engineering. DOI 10.13140/2149139524. See also: Sonochemistry, Sunluminescence, Ultrasonics, Ultrasonic Homogenizer, Kenneth S. Sujlik, Ultrasonic Cleaning, 